if a student is coming into school under the influence of drugs, if a student comes into school without having had anything to eat since lunchtime the previous day, if a student comes into school having witnessed some of the most horrific domestic violence in their own house, these children cannot access the curriculum to their full potential. We believe by putting in support as and when it's needed that we can support that child in the long term. It starts from getting them here first thing in the morning. Our attendance officers um, go out and they will collect students. They will call at the houses and they will collect students and they will bring them into school. Um, for students who don't have the facilities at home, we will wash their uniform. We will provide them with a PE kit, which we will wash and dry and keep in school so that they can get, take part in PE activities. We organise um, a food bank um, for some of our most vulnerable students to make sure that they can come in. We have the breakfast clubs in the morning some of them come in when they walk in they're a bit like oh tired and I've just woken up and when they see us we actually say oh would you like some breakfast and we say oh yeah and then that's it they've picked up a smile on their face and they'll have a chat with you then you're the first uh, contact in the mornings so we do tend to generally pick up if something uh, is wrong with them and if there is then we will uh, let uh, PNG, you know, which is Pogans of Ghana, you know, of uh, any issues with them. Sometimes I walk, I can't get the uh, breakfast because I'm running so late. So I, I come to Breakfast Club and get it. So it's helping me and other students and it's refreshing. It's free, and I think it's, uh, if I don't eat at home, uh, I can eat it here, and it's very healthy food. They give uh, fresh food. We're a pilot school um, in terms of employing a social worker in school. So um, the social worker is part funded by ourselves. She works, she's based in school, she works from school, and whilst, yes, she has to deal with children who are on a child protection plan, for example, she's also there so she can work on early intervention. In the last two or three years, we've spent a lot of time looking at the problems individual children are having and then adapting teaching and learning to meet the needs of those children. We are in lessons constantly, 100%, dealing with every individual child and looking at where they're up to. We don't teach classes of children uh, in this school anymore. We teach individual children. For the Nurture Group, we take targeted individuals for the ones that can't access the curriculum because of de developmental needs. And so they either might function minimally and say very little in class, or they might be causing chaos and, and running around. It makes me feel uh, calmer because there doesn't be about much people around me. We run different sessions based on the students' needs. Um, so some will be to do with uh, confidence, some will be academic needs, some will be developmental needs, some will be, like fine motor skills even. We do some free play where they learn to go back to what we would have done at nursery ideally, where they would play independently and then how to not cause friction when they want something that someone else has got and build that up to taking turns in formal games. Yeah, it's a good lesson and I enjoy Student support, it's a place where uh, we all go, people that have special needs, people that might have a behaviour problem, or people just who need some support. Um, Mrs Hughes helps me in particular because, um, if, for example, if I have an exam that I need to do, um, I'll go to her and she'll make sure that I have everything ready for me to help me with the exam and make it easier. It makes it less complicated and embarrassing because like, there's one person I can go to, I don't have to explain it to everybody. and like, It's good to have one person who, uh, who understands it rather than having to explain yourself over and over again. 
because I had two car accidents in a short space of time, one, the first one, it harmed me physically and damaged my legs for muscle. And the second one, it damaged me psychologically, so I didn't, so I wouldn't be able to look people in the eye and I wouldn't have much confidence in myself either. So uh, the school helped me doing exercises as well, so I would be able to um, help my legs as well as my confidence. And to help me, school's given me a laptop, They've given me a camera and they work quite nicely together and they connect quite easily. The camera allows me to see the board quite clearly. I can zoom in, zoom out, I can record. So if I miss something, I can take images so I don't have to write as much. But we have uh, an outside agency that we buy in and they come in once a week um, and she sees all three. Well, when we buy in the support, we get all the equipment with it. And without that support, that buying in that agency, we wouldn't be able to, to have those luxuries. I'm independent, as in I can go through the whole day without asking a teacher for help, a special teacher. I can sit in the classroom, I can do whatever I want like a normal student. Um, we believe in this school that every child does still matter. Um, we're an inclusive school and we work very, very hard at spreading that ethos um, th throughout the whole of the building. So we involve like, in the catering staff, the cleaning staff, um, lots and lots of support uh, staff as well as uh, the teaching staff in, in helping to help a child holistically because we believe that if they're a happy child then they will be able to learn much, much better. <laughs> Personalised learning is something that we introduced um, a number of years ago in an attempt to avoid the need to permanently exclude our students. When I find it difficult in lessons and I get into trouble, I can go to someone, like into student support, to any teacher, like Miss Warburton, any Miss Campbell, Miss Young, and they'll help me out. And if I didn't have this, I think I'll find it hard and I'll probably be kicked out of the school. One student might start at a different time for different reasons. It could be family issues, it could be peer issues. They might have a different timetable. Uh, they might need different help. For one young man that we worked with for five years and only stayed with us by the skin of his teeth, actually walked away with more than five GCSEs at A stars to see. He was a bright young man who in any other school would probably have been permanently excluded at least three times. But we kept him, we worked with him, we supported him, and he's gone out now to college, and fingers crossed he'll be a successful young man. Mm -hmm.